Hello everyone, my name is Keshav Jadav and in this video I will explain how to get equations to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct. So in order to find equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct for same pressure loss per unit length, we shall consider two cases. First case is quantity of air passing through the rectangular and circular ducts is same and second case velocity V of air passing through the rectangular duct and circular duct is same. So let us consider first case to get the equation for equivalent diameter of circular duct for given rectangular duct let us consider Tarsi's equation or it is also called as Fleming's equation for pressure loss due to friction in ducts. So, this is the equation to calculate pressure loss due to friction in a ducts. Here, this F it is the friction factor, L it is total length of duct and it can be measured in meter, rho A it is mass density of air and it can be measured in kg per meter cube, this V it is the velocity of air in a duct, it can be measured in meter per second and M it is hydraulic mean depth, it can be measured in meter. So, we can calculate velocity of air in a duct by using formula quantity of air passing through duct Q divided by cross section area of duct A. So, Q it is in meter cube per second and cross section area A is in meter square. So, we will get velocity in meter per second and hydraulic mean depth M can be defined as cross section area of duct A divided by weighted perimeter of duct P. So, here if we put V is equal to Q by A and M is equal to A by P for circular duct we will get this equation. So, here V it is replaced with Q by A. So, here A is AC means cross section area of circular duct. So, V square it is equal to Q by AC bracket square and this hydraulic mean depth M it is a denominator. So, we can write here weighted perimeter of circular duct divided by cross section area of circular duct. So, we can rewrite this equation like this. So, similar to this we can write for rectangular duct also. So, here this suffix R it is for rectangular duct. Similar to circular duct this equation also we can rewrite like this. Now, since pressure loss due to friction, friction factor length of duct, density of air, quantity of air for circular duct and for rectangular duct is same. Therefore, we can equate these two equations. So, if you equate these two equations, this constants will be cancelled out and remaining terms we can write as this PC divided by AC cube is equal to PR divided by AR cube. So, here we can write formula for weighted perimeter and cross section area. So, here for circular duct weighted perimeter is pi d and cross section area is pi by 4 d square and for rectangular duct weighted perimeter is 2 into bracket a plus b and cross section area is a into b. Now, we can simplify this equation and as we have to calculate formula for equivalent diameter we can take d on one side and remaining terms on another side of equal to sign. So, we will get d is equal to 1.265 into bracket a cube b cube divided by a plus b bracket raised to 1 by 5. So, by using this equation we can calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct. Now, let us consider second case we have to calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for given rectangular duct for same velocity of air passing through rectangular duct and circular duct. So, this is the equation for pressure loss due to friction and here this M it is hydraulic mean depth we can replace with cross section area divided by weighted perimeter. So, for circular duct if you replace this M by cross section area by weighted perimeter then we will get this equation. Similarly, for rectangular duct we will get this equation. So, here pressure loss friction factor, length of the duct, density of air and also velocity of air 
in circular duct and rectangular duct is same so we can equate these two equations so if we equate these two equations these terms will be cancelled out and we can rewrite remaining terms as pc divided by ac is equal to pr divided by ar now here also we can put formula for weighted perimeter and cross section area so weighted perimeter for circular duct is pi d and cross section area for circular duct is pi by 4 d square for rectangular duct weighted perimeter is 2 into bracket a plus b and cross section area is a into b so here we have to derive the formula for equivalent diameter so we can write d on one side and remaining term on another side so we will get formula d is equal to 2 a b divided by a plus b so by using this formula we can calculate equivalent diameter of circular duct for given rectangular duct further if you take b common from numerator and denominator then we will get this equation so here this a by b is known as aspect ratio and important point related to aspect ratio is aspect ratio for rectangular duct should not be greater than 8 in any case so in this way if we have to convert equivalent diameter of circular duct for a given rectangular duct and if you have to keep quantity q of air passing through rectangular and circular ducts is same then we can use this formula and if you have to calculate by keeping velocity v of air passing through rectangular duct and circular duct is same then we can use this formula so in this formula is generally a is the larger length of rectangular duct and b is the shorter length of rectangular duct thank you